Um, let's see, last but not least, I'm gonna introduce uh, Wendy Wu. Uh, Wendy is the director of uh, UPRD. Let's see, see Wendy, yes, hello Wendy here. Uh -huh. uh, she's the uh, director of uh, UPRD, the research department uh, of Urbanus Architecture and Design. And she's the assistant curator uh, at the 2017 Nanto UABB uh, uh, Biennale uh, and the project manager of the China Pavilion of the 2016 London Design Biennale. She received the Advanced Masters of Architecture from Burlock Institute and has worked in architecture office in Rotterdam and Amsterdam before joining uh, the Sunjin uh, Center for Design as the researcher and officer. She practiced in the field of uh, urban research and strategy making uh, urban design and creation in the Shenzhen Hong Kong region, focusing on uh, future thinking and design that are impactful to society, uh, public space relating to the greater um, uh, PRD region, or nowadays we call it the Greater Bay Area. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Wendy. I'm going to present to you her lecture, uh, Planning for an Alternative Social Fabric. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Melody. I'm actually truly happy to be here. I, uh, uh, thank you for Sarah's presentation. That's very interesting and lovely project. Those plants is so amazing uh, because we are we are actually working on a project about it is about placemaking and uh, also Doreen is working with us. Uh, and I, I was working on the framework of those uh, of this project and uh, how to integrate different people, resource, uh, research, and uh, planning method uh, towards the a collection of uh, placemaking project. So I'm so happy I'm here today. It's a process for me to learn from you guys. Uh, okay, so let me share my screen. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, planning for an uh, alternative social, social fabric, uh, especially for Shenzhen. Uh, as Doreen mentioned before, the city of Shenzhen is a rapid or an instant city, as people call it. Uh, after the China's open door policy, uh, the whole city is following the, the slogan of time is money, efficiency is life. So people have a stream of I'm going to be rich. And the whole city is rushing towards uh, a very rapid urbanization. Only 40 years uh, uh, of development, the, the city is going through those process of great leap forward. So the reality of this typical uh, Chinese organization has this structured spatial system, this integrated uh, cultural condition, those complexities, those uncertainties, track urbanus. Because this is not only the design practice, it's also think tank. Uh, we uh, do want to be uh, actualized uh, urban curator and mediators. And also we have this UPRD as uh, a, a platform for program re research and design. And hopefully through this platform, uh, we would do uh, uh, even more diverse practice uh, within architectural field in this great Bay Area. So uh, first I'm going to uh, go through uh, several projects uh, to low one of our most uh, well-known projects. Uh, we bring this uh, condition of collective living into uh, the city of uh, Foshan, uh, next to Guangzhou, as the uh, collective environment for those uh, lower income people, uh, affordable housing, uh, although now it has been transformed into uh, Boyu, the, the apartment by Benki. Um, the, the collective living form uh, we studied uh, is not only about one architectural project, actually. It's more of an urban strategy 
that we do want to bring these prototypes into different corners, leftover space uh, of the city. So it's an urban strategy. As those people, uh, we have so many uh, immigrants uh, in not only Shenzhen, but also uh, Guangzhou and other area. And through those years, uh, those immigrants have transformed from uh, the people on the left uh, to who are on the right side. And the average age is, sorry for this number, it's an old number, but uh, uh, right now is 32.5 years old, the average age. Uh, the, the condition of those young people, the, the, they have to bear so much pressure for living. Uh, and Shenzhen has even more pressure than Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is uh, 64 and Shenzhen is 72. That you have to spend so much of your salary into your rentals. So well, when we look back into the city, we have on the left side of uh, those typical urban villages. On the right side is those luxury villas. This is the real photo. Uh, so how would you choose? Where do you live? They used to live, those young immigrants, they used to live in urban villages, but now uh, those villages is uh, being uh, demolished. And those uh, work laid balance line is being pushing forward uh, further and further away from the city center. So the proposal we made uh, for the London Biennale is called density. Uh, basically, we uh, gather all those living uh, uh, district, compile it into a very gigantic block. Uh, and hopefully those, uh, those blocks, those density prototype would, uh, would uh, facilitate those uh, young people in, in Shenzhen that, uh, that the city would have those polycentric uh, urbanism. But that's the proposal. Whereas in uh, reality, this is uh, Bai Shizhou, one of the largest urban villages in Shenzhen, uh, where it, it provides affordable living environment, uh, apartments, but today is under uh, demolition. And the developer is saying that uh, today's check is for a better tomorrow. And also those uh, uh, living uh, uh, environment in Hubei, this is Hubei village, and also been transforming into those typical uh, uh, towers and shopping malls. So uh, this is uh, one typical uh, urban fabric now in Shenzhen. And on the other side, uh, those urban villages or alternative uh, urban fabric. How would we uh, build it or how would we help to maintain it? Uh, can different fabric be coexist together? So Nanto. Nanto is where we have a, a, a design project, also with a curating project. Um, it used to be the, the governing center uh, for the whole region. Uh, at the, on the left side, the red part indicates the, the, the border of Hong Kong. Um, so, but today, it used to be Old Town, but today it's a typical urban village like this. And it has this two reality of the Old Town of and village. It has the traditional uh, uh, authentic uh, old gate, uh, temples, uh, people's uh, costumes, uh, building from different eras. So the urban design uh, together with on the right side is the uh, curating uh, uh, proposal uh, for the, the, the whole village. So we combine these two 
and we list out uh, different types of intervention, including architectural renovations, uh, of course, uh, exhibition of uh, uh, panels, uh, scenarios, discussions, and also uh, invite other uh, resource and de designers, uh, uh, community makers to participate in this event. So for the, this, uh, the central plaza, it used to be a, a gathering place for all the people in this village. Uh, we, uh, we plan for a, a series of uh, uh, scenario events, public space uh, through this main street, uh, trying to uh, uh, connect different parts of the neighborhood also to provide uh, uh, different uh, event space. So we insert those two uh, major public facility, uh, those two new building, but just those two new building. Um, hopefully that uh, uh, the, vill the villagers and the tenants and the future uh, uh, newcomers would uh, collaborate and be together within one space. This is the bookshop we have during the, the BNI. And also on the main street, um, we insert very minimum um, uh, intervention. And also for the factory area, uh, by uh, inviting the, the BNR transformed into a different event space uh, through the uh, project and installation from uh, designers. And also this is the, the uh, exhibitions within the factory. And also this is a quite interesting project we, we proposed, uh, uh, it's called Posted, that we opened up some um, dialogues uh, uh, of different topics uh, in an artistic way and uh, try to uh, put it everywhere in the village uh, in a way talking to the uh, tenants and uh, visitors. And those events are uh, with the village them uh, villagers themselves. Uh, so the opening ceremony we have, the way those uh, local people can co uh, get, can go coexist with uh, the ongoing daily life of the place. So the scenario we have is that um, although we uh, invite some uh, new energy into the place itself, but uh, the, the existing uh, lifestyle, uh, people can still stay there and through time and process, they would adapt into new lifestyle, they will grow and they would um, uh, in, uh, uh, integrate it into the so-called modern life. So it's basically a, a, a slow down uh, gentrification process. So the idea of this so-called uh, urban design and urban curation is to uh, uh, build up the platform of uh, collaboration and a mechanism of diverse participation, uh, incubation, uh, and of course the empowerment of uh, local people. Uh, also together with uh, outside resources, and for uh, architects, we encourage uh, to have new rules like how to uh, do renovation in urban villages. For example, uh, the, this uh, cluster of uh, bundled uh, village buildings, uh, we embrace it here on the right side. We embrace the, the condition as it is uh, and renovation project doesn't, doesn't really change the, the component of this uh, condition. 
that we study, the, the material, the composition, uh, the, the functions, and uh, to build it as it is, to follow the logic of the, the locality. So the, the BNI we have uh, several years ago, although it's quite different from what uh, we have today as uh, dentists, start to have the development uh, after we uh, have the BNL. Uh, but the BNL itself, it's not only the uh, exhibition, but also intervention and action. And here we have this, uh, now we are moving uh, to the center of Shenzhen, completely different environment. So the, uh, the mantle uh, is the urban village, and this is the, the plan the, the modern uh, planning uh, outcome. So this project, the, the uh, full class in field plan is the project of uh, urban research on the public space in the center of Shenzhen, the newly built environment. So we think uh, the, the, this is actually the area, uh, it represents the, the uh, the, the outcome of the uh, 40 years development, but also uh, it, it has the issue or the problem of trying to find um, more layers of urban life. So it used to be a, a very, uh, very vacant land. And through those years from, uh, you can see the photo from 1996, it, it, it has nothing. And now we have a new city center, a CBD area. But those very nice architecture project on the right side, it doesn't really have those uh, like people on the left side waiting to enter the library. We have the building, but we don't have the, uh, the place. So we plan for a series of different strategy, including the, about management, about uh, inviting more uh, institution and resource to, to, to be here, and uh, enhancement of infrastructure, uh, also discussion, plan, uh, discussion on the future scenario of our city together with some promotion plans. So we propose after uh, the, the uh, very in-depth research uh, for not only for the space itself, but for the mechanism behind the space, we uh, propose 10 different projects in four different uh, sites. Uh, the idea is that uh, this is the, the, the civic center in Shenzhen and quite uniquely uh, at the, the center. The central access is vacant. It's left intentionally uh, vacant and it's for the people. The people is walking on it, but sadly for now, uh, we are just walking on it and it doesn't necessarily have the uh, very diverse like uh, live and program events. So um, from uh, the uh, the last forty years, Shenzhen uh, went through the expansion of very uh, in a very forceful manner, I would say. And what we are trying to do is to intensify the growth, the future growth of the city. And through those central access, uh, what we do want to do is to have an a, a intensified city fabric. And we uh, asked uh, one expert, uh, a planning expert in Shenzhen, uh, Zhu Longyan, said uh, that we try to build those, this social rainforest, which facilitated very diverse social program, different people, different groups. So here in, in site A, like we uh, discussed that uh, besides those great architectural projects, great uh, venues, uh, to have more uh, those uh, green uh, spots, 
to, to have more uh, venues and places, outdoor places. So the, the design not only includes urban infrastructure, but installation, urban uh, events planning, and discussion of future visions. So this place, uh, uh, those space would become places. And for the, this center, uh, we, we have this gigantic uh, uh, square meters that how to fill it with people. Uh, we think uh, by connecting a uh, different isolated island of the city, uh, people will start to create the city fabric. And slowly, of course, the infrastructure would come in, uh, new uh, uh, natural space, plumping, uh, everything would go afterwards. And for the railway station, right in the center of Shenzhen, it would become the, the gate, uh, the icon, and uh, a bridge to bring people who arrive, uh, arrive in the center of city to, uh, uh, they can go to the, 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 the park and to see the civic center to experience it. And it, this would become a civic mall. And for the southern part, the CBD area, uh, right now it has so many office towers, but uh, uh, on the rooftop, uh, it's a green space. It's a very nice garden, but um, people rarely know it and they never uh, go there because they has nothing to do. So it's not only about those uh, green oasis, but also it do needs uh, some cultural engine because when you when you have the engine, you will have more uh, spontaneous uh, programs. Uh, also, uh, by inviting more like installations, people would uh, we would bring the the, the uh, 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 people's uh, attention to it. And this new uh, add-ons. Uh, renovation on top of existing built environment uh, would uh, be acting like the cultural engine and uh, um, yeah, attraction point. Wendy, I'm very sorry to interrupt, but I think we're running a little bit short on time and yeah. Okay, sorry. Thank you very much. Yeah, and hope we can, we can continue a lot of these like during the discussion time as well. But yeah, I'll let you finish here. Yeah. All right, I'm almost finished. I will go quickly through the slides. So yeah, uh, different scenarios and events uh, and uh, those uh, promotion uh, of awareness of uh, breaking for experiment, patch for density, bring more events and stage for alternatives uh, and act for autonomy. So in the end, it's uh, I think it's an ongoing process of reshaping the social fabric Shenzhen that requires not only um, a design strategy, but also strategy from other aspects and different uh, 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 experts, different people. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you for all, all the speakers. I think it's a very interesting collection um, of uh, of work. I mean, Hong Kong and Shenzhen has quite a bit difference uh, in, in terms of urban development and all that, but I think one of the common themes that we found here uh, today is really how like each of these projects are looking into um, people uh, and process. Um, anyway, we're running a little bit short on time, so I think we'll, we'll probably have